What's up everybody, Trinity here and welcome back to the Second Street Marvel. In today's comic book review, I'm going to be talking about X-Force issue number one, one of the new series spinning out of Jonathan Hickman's relaunch of X-Men in the Marvel Universe after House of X and Powers of X. Now before I get into that, please make sure you're subscribed and click the little bell and all of that good stuff. Help us fight the forces of Hydra who are out there constantly trying to bury us in that YouTube algorithm. Your help is much appreciated. So, as I said, guys, this is one of the new series spinning out of the House of X and Powers of X series that Jonathan Hickman so eloquently wrote. Eloquently? Is that a good word for that? No, nah, I don't know. It was really excellently wrote. I can tell you that. It was really good. And this book right here, guys, I'm telling you, you have to read this book if you haven't been reading any of the other tie-in books. Make sure you read this one. And if you are reading any all the other titles, make sure that you read this last this week out of you know b between uh this one and the new mutants make sure you read this after new mutants i'm just telling you that right off the bat okay so this book here is being written by uh oh man it's being written by benjamin percy um joshua kasarad is the artist uh dean white is the color artist and vc's joe Car caramagna is the letterer tom Mueller's designer and dustin weaver is the cover artist and um again look at that cover guys this cover this cover is actually really nice. I like how this cover looks. So uh, getting into this book, right off uh, right off the get-go, it, it, op it opens right up. Uh, we open right up into this kind of, uh, this, this, this secret society, I guess I could say, this meeting that they are having. And um, they're getting ready to have this meeting, you know, as Krakoa and has kind of, you know, the mutants have their own sovereign nation now. We know that there are people out there already resistant to it who haven't joined the cause. And that's what we get here at the very beginning. And they're getting ready to start this kind of, how would you say this dark council? I don't know. Dark council? Hmm. Um, anyway, they're getting ready to start this uh, this meeting. And before they uh, start the meeting, they want to make sure that everybody there in the meeting is actually not a mutant or has the X gene in them. So they have, you know, they're all sitting there kind of in a circle having like this little ritual here. And um, they basically have to take a blood sample and put it in these, uh, in these little vials that's basically going to test them. Um, to see whether they're mutants or not. So, uh, and, and that's kind of where, where, where we, we start off. And then we see as it, you know, they're going around the table to make sure that everybody takes their little blood sample. Uh, we actually see that there is a mutant amongst the crowd. And that mutant is Domino. And she's, she's there. And um, obviously she reveals herself. She starts kicking everyone's asses, man. She just starts, she starts kicking ass. And then, um, well, here this one time she got not so lucky and then of course uh, we open up right after that brief introduction and get to see uh, some of this stuff uh, going on right here where we see the team of uh, the team of people who are going to be in this book and we've got Beast, Wolverine, Black Tom Cassidy, Kitty Pride, Jean Grey, Sage, Professor X, Healer, and Domino. And then uh, right out, right after that, and you know, again, we get one of these nice two-page spreads that I love so much, guys. Oh, don't you just love those for that extra dollar? Oh, you gotta love it, guys. Anyway, so um, what we do is we we open up uh, on Krakoa. It seems like all these things open up on Krakoa. Hmm, strange, isn't it? <laughs> I know it's not. So they they open up there on Krakoa, and Beast is uh, we see Beast kind of out on Krakoa, kind of out in the open, uh, just searching and looking for things. He finds some uh, specimens, and he uh, begins to to take some samples. And all of a sudden, he's like attacked by this uh, beast, kind of out in the middle of nowhere. You know, while he, while he's out there looking, and uh, naturally, uh, Logan jumps in and helps save Beast as Beast you know, it was just kind of taken by surprise. But this was actually a, something that Beast was actually out there researching is what we come to find out. But one of the things, guys, I want to show you guys in this, in case you didn't notice from that cover, and even, of course, the cover isn't done by the same guy, but the art in this book, I like the art in this book. The art in this book is really well done. And just look at that picture of Logan, man. That's that's hashtag my Wolverine, you know what I'm saying? So um, Logan, Logan kind of helps save him, and you know, and Beast is telling him like, "Hey, don't, don't kill this creature," you know, like, um, "This creature's here for a reason. He's welcome on Krakoa and all this stuff." And he's like, "I don't think that this, that this beast was there trying to beast. <laughs> I don't think that this animal was necessarily there trying to was there trying to kill me, you know, like he wasn't a threat, and I think I just took him by surprise." But 
he has left a trail of bones in his wake, and that's uh, something uh, kind of mysterious here. And then, um, and then right right after we get that, we get uh, these things right here. There's uh, another one of these page with uh, some more exposition of things that are probably pretty uh, important to what's going on here. We, we're showing uh, they're showing the nation of Krakoa and just some of the security measures that they have in place for uh, for. For for the nation of Krakoa to keep it to keep it safe safeguard it from um, outside sources and then uh, we open up basically back on the island of Krakoa with uh, Black Tom Cassidy uh, sitting there kind of uh, he's there like communicating with uh, Krakoa and like he's the one that's kind of in charge of all their uh, their, their security here on the island and um, he notices that something is is approaching the island and you know they're like like hey like. Uh, Jean, Jean Grey is actually communicating him uh, with him, telling him like, "Hey, something's going on here," and they're like, "They're like, they're like, who is it? Who's who's coming? You know, like, uh, who is it that's coming?" And you know, they're they're basically saying that, uh, you know, and he basically says like, "Look, you either come to Krakoa through the gateway." Or that's pretty much it. It says right here, everybody's supposed to come through the gates. You can't trust what doesn't come through the gates because that's where everyone comes through, except for course who's the one person that doesn't come through the gates that they trust and that is uh kate pride um they're arriving on her ship with the marauders and once again guys we get some beautiful art in this book i mean it's really good i like it and she arrives there on krakow with her with her ship and they have a whole bunch of uh of mutants that they're bringing from uh from the other countries that are not allowing their citizens to access uh the gates of krakow so they get there, and they've got a whole bunch of injured, uh, of injured, injured mutants, and one of them actually happens to be, um, uh, happens to be, um, oh man, what I almost said, I almost, said, I almost said Cyclops, man. <laughs> One of them actually happens to be Colossus there, uh, who has actually uh, been who has actually been hurt. And then once again, uh, we get this right here from the desk of Charles Xavier, uh, where he's basically saying how they're going to be dealing with um, his official response to non-treaty nations and his unofficial response to non-treaty nations, and how they are going to keep um, negotiations open with those countries. And uh, then we get this, uh, we get, we flash into this airport where we see a few uh, mysterious uh, suspect looking people um, getting onto an airplane. And um, as they're, you know, they're boarding the airplane, you know, nothing suspicious, you know, but everything's, you know, everybody's kind of keeping an eye on everything to see what's going on here. And then um, we're back, we're back at Krakow. We see uh, Xavier is actually getting ready to walk through one of the gates to another nation to attend this party. And this, uh, this actually happens to be, oh gosh, where are they at? Oh yeah. <laughs> How could I forget that? They go. He goes to Sokovia, um, because Sokovia has decided to go ahead and uh, join join forces with uh, Krakoa and and the mutants and recognize their sovereign nation. And he goes there um, for a party where they're kind of celebrating um, this this monumental achievement in their uh, in their history, I guess you could say. And then we go back to Krakoa where all the uh, all the mutants are being tended to, and. We can see that um, the 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 doctor here, um, gosh, and I and I all of a sudden I can't remember his name. I, guys, I'm not I'm not I'm not like the most familiar person with all of these uh, with all the X Men out there. You know, I'm the, I'm no expert, okay? Um, with with the healer, and he's sitting there trying to communicate with all all the mutants and find out uh, what's wrong with them. And uh, a lot of them are hurting so much that he can't find out. So uh, he has Jean Grey um, sit there and communicate with them. And she's saying that she really can't help because they're all hurting that much. And that's kind of just the, the state that most of them are left in. And then uh, we, get back, we get back on the plane and we see that these people uh, who had gotten on the plane, there's a group of them, there's a group of four of them um, who get on this plane and they end up uh, jumping out of this plane after they take it over. And they start jumping through the air. But where could these people be going? Where could these be people be going? Because uh, we see that uh, with some of the security measures of Krakoa being recognized as its own sovereign nation, that they have certain um, they have certain airspace that cannot be uh, ba basically interfered with. It is their their airspace, and so uh, these these uh, these guys hijack this airplane and they jump off the airplane and they are going um, they they're skydiving 
into the nation of Krakoa because that is one of the places where they don't really have any kind of security measures in place. And um, so th they get there and we see, uh, as, as they're diving down, we see that um, the Tom, the Cassidy is sitting there like, like, hey, like he gets really gets noticed like last minute that these uh, that these people are, are arriving there. And by this point, uh, Xavier is already back on the island. And we also see that uh, Logan is sitting there having a meal and he notices the same thing. He, you know, you can see him like he's sniffing, you know, because he, he can uh, see the uh, the. The, the coming intruders, I guess you could say. And then we see there are uh, the mutants there kind of hanging out and um, some, of, some of them arriving and everything. And then we see, uh, all of a sudden you just see this, this uh, I'll show you this panel right here. You see one of the, all of a sudden you got this red dot right there, you know, this laser on somebody's head. And all of a sudden uh, the attack starts as these infiltrators start uh, arriving on the island. And again, there's, there's like a big fight uh, going on here between these these four uh, perpetrators and and the mutants, and um, they they really go through there and they they slaughter a lot of the mutants. I mean, not not like a bunch of them, but we can see they're putting up a, a, quite a battle. I mean, they didn't just send anybody in uh, to to infiltrate uh, Krakoa, and uh, we can see that they're that they are there um, basically fighting back against the mutant nation because you know what nobody can just leave the mutants alone to their own right they have their own island they're not bothering anybody at this point you know what I'm saying but of course naturally um, you know I guess that's kind of the thing with the mutants people are always scared of what they don't understand so as they're setting their fighting guys I don't want to give away um, exactly everything that goes on here but they have a they have a struggle here uh, during this fight okay there, there's a struggle going on during this fight and like I said the, the thing that's going on here is they were all taken by surprise and um, they're, they're all taken by surprise and we get uh, these really excellent panels and I'll just you know guys this book okay I'm, I'm just gonna show you this panel right here okay this page right here um, th there's a lot so much being said on this page right here for what's going on in this story um, I definitely do not want to tell you guys what happens here at the end of this book while these people these infiltrators are there on the island attacking but let me tell you that uh, it, it's not good okay and as I, I was uh, as I was reading this book and obviously you know it seems like uh, there's there's a lot of things that have been kind of built up here through um, through the story, you know, a lot of things that we've gotten through um, from Jonathan H Hickman and everything with the House of X and Powers of X series, and the way that this uh, this 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 book ends, like seriously, I was sitting there uh, reading it, and you, once you get the, to those last couple of pages, you know what's getting ready to happen, guys. Um, it seems like something that was pretty in inevitable. It seems like it was something that we all knew was gonna happen at some point. I just don't think that any of us knew that it was going to happen this soon. And I was sitting there reading it as I was reading it for the first time. Um, I got emotional about it. I really did. I was sitting there and like um, my, my, my eyes got welled up, you know, so started tearing up. And, you know, my one of my one of my kids, uh, my oldest daughter, she walks by. She's like, are you OK, daddy? Like, are you crying? And, and I just told her, I was like, no, N no, I'm not. Um, and, and that's all I really want to say, guys. But this book ends on such a cliffhanger with just like the right thing that you know this book honestly after the last x4 series i started to read uh that started at god what was that towards the beginning of this uh this year um i think it was back in january february when it started they didn't get into too many issues i didn't really i wasn't really into that series guys this book right here this is the other book I'm definitely going to be pulling, okay? Um, of course, what's happened that happens in this book is probably going to uh, spill into the other issues, obviously. But guys, this book right here, I got to say, uh, who, who Benjamin Percy did one hell of a job writing this book, guys. The art in this book is really good. I like the art in this book. I think the art in this book... It's kind of what I wish we were getting out of the X Men book, the 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 other the the, the, the you know the main X Men series. I wish this art was what was in that book. Of course, you know we can't have we can't have our cake and eat it though too, right? And but I'm telling you guys, um, this book right here, man. If you didn't buy this book, I'm telling you, go out and buy this book. You're gonna want this one. You're gonna want to read this one. I can absolutely guarantee you, you want to read this book and see exactly what's going on in this story. This. 
to me, this is the other series, definite pull out of this series that you probably are going to want to check out in the future through through the rest of these. Of course, you know, maybe not. I could be, I could totally be wrong. But let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Have you read New, or <laughs> New Mutants? Have you read X-Force issue number one? If so, let's talk about it down in the comments below, guys, because I'm telling you, there is a lot to discuss here, especially over these two issues that we got this week uh, between New Mutants and an X-Force. Like I said, if you haven't read either of them yet and you're watching this review, make sure you read New Mutants first and read X-Force second. Guys, this is an issue you don't want to miss. Man, this, like I said, this one got me kind of emotional, you know, it got me worked up in that way, and it was a really good, good issue. But uh, that's all I have for this video today, folks. Thank you all so much for tuning into the Second Street Marvel. Now, if you haven't already, please make sure you're subscribed and click that little bell so you get notifications anytime we have uploaded new content. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you don't, feel free to give it a thumbs down. It's all good. I don't take it personal. But while you're at it, make sure that you share it with a friend and invite them to come hang out with us here on the Second Street Marvel. You all have a very good day. Have a great rest of your week. Happy reading. Get out and support your local comic book shop and buy this book. And we'll see you in the next video. Later.